Hi everyone, I'm Zhang Shangcheng, a first year PhD candidate. Today I'm here to pass a message. Climate change is not far away, it's in our daily life. So first I want to show you three typical chains that climate change will influence human health. First, climate change will cause a continuously high temperature. This will first result in drought and then wildfire and then air pollution. This will influence our health. This is number one. Second, climate change will result in lack of water, which will influence our food system directly. People will die from lack of food and clean water. And the third, lack of water will make us have less hydropower, which is similar to what happened in Sichuan province this summer. So lack of hydropower will result in lack of power in our, in our grid and then we'll, we'll have to shut down our factory and then our air conditioning system. So heat wave exposure will increase in humankind and our health will be influenced. After showing the, this three typical chain, we will say that, okay, how much is, will be the health impact? According to World Health Organization, it says, says that climate change will cause around 250,000 additional deaths per year between 2030 to 2050. That means people will die from lack of food, will die from storm, will die from heat waves because, because of climate change. So people will ask that if climate change do have this kind of huge Im health impact in humankind, so why can't we feel it in our daily life? To answer this question, I can show you the comparison between COVID-19 and climate change. COVID-19 has cost us 5 million deaths in 1.5 years. And for climate change, it will cost us similar amount of deaths in the next 30 years. What's the difference between two of them? The difference is that COVID-19 cost us a real huge impact in a short term. But for climate change, it costs us in a really long term. So it's the elephant in the room. We can't feel it, but it's there. But what I want to say more is that COVID-19 is controllable, that we can solve it in at least five years or 10 years. But for climate change, it's not controllable. It's a thing that it's the Earth system. It's just there. We, what we can do is just to adapt to it. So the problem comes to that. How much will it cost us to adapt to the climate change? Here's the result. Also, I compare the loss with economic loss with COVID-19. So for COVID-19, it costs more than 1.1 billion in 1.5 years. And for climate change, it w in the future, it will cost us same amount of money in just one year. And for COVID-19, it's temporary cost. For climate change, it's cumulative. That means that every year in the future, it will cost us this much of money. It will be a huge burden to our economic system. So what to do? My suggestion is that best adaptation is mitigation. From this figure, you can know that in our generation, we will cross most of the tipping points of climate change of our, our system. That means that we are the last generation can make a difference, can address climate change. For the next few generations, it will be too late for them to do anything. So please act now and address climate change. Thank you.